At the end of the afternoon, word came that the girl, Ayesh, had died. A messenger arrived in a rush and delivered the news to the chief, and it swept through the huts in a matter of minutes. Mothers gathered their little ones close to them. Rachel, followed by Lako, returned to the village a short time later. Good evening, Mr. O'Reilly, she said, in the same low, slow tone that betrayed nothing. Hello, Rachel. Please call me Nate. Sit over there, Nate, she said, pointing to a short, square stump, remarkably similar to the one he'd been perched upon for the past six hours. It was in front of her own hut, near a ring of rocks where she made her fires. He sat. I'm sorry about the little girl, Nate said. She is with the Lord. Her poor parents aren't. No, they are grieving. It's very sad. She sat in her doorway, arms folded over her knees, eyes lost in the distance. The boy Lako stood guard under a nearby tree, almost unseen in the darkness. I would invite you into my home, she said, but it would not be proper. No problem here. Only married people can be alone indoors at this time of the day. It's a custom. When in Rome, do like the Romans. Rome is very far away. Was your day all right? Yes, for a day that consisted mostly of waiting. We did meet the chief. That was a pleasure. They fed us well. And my people, what do you think of them? They're all naked. They always have been. How long did it take to get accustomed to it? I don't know. A couple of years. It gradually grows on you like everything else. I was homesick for three years, and there are times now when I would like to drive a car, eat a pizza, and see a good movie. But you adjust. I can't begin to imagine. It's a matter of calling. I became a Christian when I was 14 years old, and I knew then that God wanted me to be a missionary. I didn't know exactly where, but I put my faith in Him. He picked a hell of a spot. I enjoy your English, but please don't swear. Oh, sorry. Can we talk about Troy? The shadows were falling fast. They were ten feet apart and could still see each other, but the blackness would soon separate them. Suit yourself, she said. 